Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking and welcome back to another hardcore challenge. Today, we're going to be doing the high noon challenge. But before we get into it, I'd like to thank Battlegrounds for their comment and giving me the idea of the name of this series. My discord is linked down below and you can see all my new uploads when I go live. I have an awesome comment section where I post any comment that I find that's awesome. Or you can look in the slice of life section where I post all the slice of life comments. And then I have a general chatting area where we can just talk and have fun. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, the high noon challenge is where in a game of Valorant, I'm only allowed to use the sheriff, which is a revolver. And the marshal, which is a repeater rifle with a sniper scope on it. And the results actually surprised me a lot. And let's hop right into this. So, starting off with the high noon, we end up on the map bind. Now, loading in. I couldn't decide on which character I wanted to use because I didn't want to have one with too much utility like Ray's last time. I was thinking Phoenix, but he had too many damaging ones. Up, but then I decided to go with Silva, just because of the recon bolt. It isn't used to kill people, it's just used for information, which can help me and the team. Okay, now moving to the first round, I tried to flank around labs. And I get kind of scared by the race, and I miss every shot and get killed. Very not happy. Next, beginning of this round, I try to silver bolt help front because that's where they came out in mid B. See if I can catch any of them. And now I have the martial light armor because it seems I'm a better sniper than I am and with the sheriff. I missed my shot there. Now I flank around. So I get a bit of vantage point on hookah. I can, bear, I can choke him off and it's better to be farther away with the marshal. Also, they probably don't have any armor. With that, I was able to take out Jet, damage Phoenix, and push him back into Hookah. Now I flank around, or move around, to get a better vantage point into Hookah. See if I can try to take out one of them. But ends up they're on sight. And I was able to take out Rage with a sick headshot. And now it becomes a game of cat and mouse. Try to use the Sova dart to get any location. Silver versus Sova. So we both do it. Without me knowing, he gets on top of those boxes. So he's spoiler alert. And takes me out with the Phantom. Now, moving on. I decide to up my skill. Let's see what happens. I take out the bot. Run away because I see Raze's has her ult. And then I take out Jet. And that will become important later. I run like hell when she brings out her rocket. We end up winning the round. And I have support from my teammates. And you can see there. I'll just continue on the thought. The Jet skin kind of angry is now running trash. So I write back a little bit but not too much. Walking back to B site, I end up doing a nice drive by headshot, taking out the spike carrier and delaying the push. Now, flank around, I have my sheriff out for close combat. I hear a raise and I take out raise, unlike last time where she killed me. Vision didn't work out, but then Sage does the same thing and gets killed by raise. Now, I'm sneaking all Phoenix because I'm low HP. I end up gunning him down to become the new sheriff for town. Rubbing in Jet's face a little because Jet's getting annoyed. Think I'm using an op. Now, next round, I camp in this corner. I damage Raze. And you can see with Killjoy's ult, Raze is running away. And I silver dart. I see her running. I pull on my marshal and I take her out with one shot. Now, this is a lost round, but I'm trying to look around to get some picks. I get Silver through the wall. Now, oh, I missed my first shot and my second shot, but then I end up taking that race. Number one thing with this challenge, stay calm under pressure. Because if you flick too much, you lose. 
And just more so on the wound, I kill Jet again. And Jet gets angry. As you can see, Rin down below. I can't see what it says right now, but in the video you'll see. I'm just laughing at him. They can't, he's thinking I'm using op when I'm not. And I'm trying to look up how to spell Marshall correctly so I don't look stupid. And luckily, I get it right. And just tell him, I'm just using a Marshall. You're just trash. You can't beat me. Now, Flint walking back. Sage revives the ally. Then I end up taking out Sage. And then I end up shooting, taking out Jet again with a headshot. What a surprise. Jet can't do anything. Jet's getting even Jet. more angry. Bobby saying some trash um, insults that don't make sense. And then again, just trying to combat Jet. Telling Jet to calm down. It's really bad. I can't see this right now in my editing software. But you guys see it. I'm probably owning Jet. And Jet's trying to make fun of my name. Just linking my YouTube more. And I end up taking out Raze because my spidey senses were tingling and I knew she was there. Now, just watching Hookah. I end up killing Jet again. It's like I have Jet's name. Jet's get very angry. Then I call Jet out. Be like, why are you, why are you talking? You're bottom fragging. Don't say anything. A little toxic, but everyone deserves it. Now watching teleport, I end up taking out Sage, because I knew they would be coming from A through TP. And then, Jet complains again. Sova's stuck in that corner after he shoots his dart. Pretty much I let Killjoy know, and we just box him in. And I end up taking him out. Now this is where you need to be calm under pressure. I'm getting shot up. And I do a little interesting thing. I don't go through. I wait until Jet gets through. Because I know Jet will be chasing me. Jet's a duelist. And I'm, I miss every shot. But so does Jet. And I end up taking the round. Because the Phoenix decides not to defuse. I don't know why. And now I'm top fragging. And this... It's when my skill just died for a second and I forgot how to play. Then I get the assist on that kill and I pop Sova's head off there. And that was the end and we won. I would like to thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit like and consider subscribing to join the Bread family. This has been... Captain Riley, your breadmaster, signing off. Peace!